guys, what's up? It has been a long, long while since I've recorded anything uh, for this channel, but here I am. I've got all these days of isolation because of, you know, the virus and whatnot. Um, so I'm back and I'm going to be trying to talk about a few more things. This looks a little bit cockeyed over here, so let's kind of fix that a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, journaling. Um, I've been journaling for, <sighs> I want to say about middle school or high school I started doing it and I actually started um, writing it into uh, my computer at the time um, when I was in middle school and then that kind of, I think the motherboard crashed or something, I'm not sure what happened. I'm sure there was a lot of porn involved or something, but anyways, uh, <laughs> so uh, then eventually I actually got a, um, a regular notebook which is not this one actually I have the very first journal I created or I, I uh, wrote in I think this is my second one one, one second Bam. so this is the very first journal I actually started writing in and um, you know originally I started uh, just you know talking about life and stuff like that the first entry is from July 8th of 2010 um, so I'd be about 20 uh, then and which is I guess what I seriously started to uh, to journal but um you know I it's not about you know doing it every single day or writing about every single aspect in your life in, in fact uh, over the last couple of weeks month year whatever I uh, I'm not super consistent um, in, in writing everything in there or in writing you know every thought or every aspect that's happened to me uh, in the day in a week you know, between myself, between whoever, you know, uh, whoever I'm with that day or, you know, what relationship I'm in, things like that. Um, in fact, I find that if I'm feeling really negative um, emotionally inside, if, I, if I'm beating the shit out of myself a lot, uh, which kind of happens, um, I battle with like a little bit of depression. I won't say I, I have nothing documented yet. I haven't seen a therapist. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start doing that. But uh, yeah, so I'll beat myself up quite a bit, and I won't feel like writing what's been going on, what's what's bothering me, even though I know that by uh, writing it down and getting it out of me usually helps me feel better. Usually, it alleviates some pressure and it allows me to to process things a little bit. Uh, more, um, which is one of the reasons that I, I really highly recommend journaling. I mean, if you're going through a tough time, or you're or you're just you're starting a new chapter in your life, or you've gotten into a new relationship, or you're um, you know you're starting some new business ideas, anything, anything that's happening in your life at all, period. You know, even and it doesn't have to be. You don't have to be you know a writer or someone who actually physically writes in here. I mean, I like to personally. Um, I, use, I also use journaling to kind of practice my cursive and whatnot, um, so just to kind of keep that skill going, just because I, I've always liked it, and plus, you know, I mean, a lot of the famous uh, writers, illustrators, um, actors, creative people, you know, intellectual people kept journals, and they mostly wrote in cursive from what I've seen, uh, so I keep that tradition going. But like I said, you don't have to be someone who actually physically writes things down. You can do this vlogging, you know, now we have... We've had for for years now, right? The technology to record ourselves just talking out loud and stuff like that to whoever's willing to kind of take a listen. But you can also, uh, you know, we've got podcasting now, right? So you can do it that way. That's that's sort of a form of journaling um, or self-reflection. Um, it can be anyways. And then also you can just, I mean, record yourself on like you know little micro tapes and stuff like that, like you see doctors do on the old uh, TV shows there and whatnot. You know, it's good to talk it out with someone, you know, whatever you're going through or, or you know, good, bad, you know, um, whatever. But, like, I do feel there's some that's important to get it out, period. Even if, you know, <laughs> my plan with these journals is that no one gets to read them until I'm dead. So what I'll typically do is I will get my notebook out. Flip it to 
And I have like random, like sometimes, you know, I'm out and about and I don't have my journal, but I do feel like expressing something or getting uh, something off my chest or, or you know, I just, uh, I meant to journal that day and I, or that morning and I'm like, you know, I'm at work or something or my day job or I'm, or I'm you know, out and about somewhere and I'm like, you know what, I got to get some stuff out. So I'll find any kind of piece of paper just to, uh, you know, write on. And oftentimes, I don't have it with me over here right now, but oftentimes I'll have like a, like a, another little notebook like this in my pocket and uh, I'll write there. What I'll typically do is I will, I always forget the format. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's my format, it's my journal, nobody else is looking at it, but I, I like to do things in a specific way so that uh, each time, you know, you get that, you get into that mode. Um, you know, the hardest part of, of any writing, even journaling, even though you're self-reflecting, is, uh, is starting with the blank page. So, like, I find that if you have a format and you can look back at, like, oh, this is how I did that, that day, um, it gets you kind of into that uh, mindset. So I'll start with the date. Today's the uh, 24th. Yeah. Today is the 24th of March, 2020. And I like to mark uh, what number journal uh, this is. And this is, for me, it's number 403, uh, my entry. And then typically I'll just uh, <laughs> start writing. And for me, journaling, like I said, is, it's, it's self-reflection, it, it's a little bit of therapy, it's, um, you know, I'll, uh, essentially what I'm doing is putting this, uh, you know, anything that's happened to me over the past however many days, over the last, you know, journal entry was, um, in here in some, some sort of a narrative, uh, even though I'm just kind of spewing out things, you know, and sometimes it's, it's you know, it's very organized, it's very boom, this happened, and this happened, and this happened. And sometimes it's just a, like a spew of emotion that like, you know, I've been feeling over the last like week or month or something like that. And like, like I was saying before, you know, sometimes uh, if I'm feeling like, you know, too negative or I've been beating the shit out of myself uh, for, you know, things I've done and or things that have happened to me or happened to somebody else, um, makes it hard for me, for me to write. Um, Mostly because I don't want to face those things again. You know what I mean? Um, here, hold on. Hey! You can't pretend you're busy because I know you're home. <laughs> <laughs> saying so I do get to that point where I'm just like you know what I have to get this out so I open up the journal do the format there and I just start fucking spewing from anywhere it's like I mean I sometimes I'll start in the middle of a thought and I'll just start writing it out and whatnot but it's just important to get these things out um because it never never works out holding anything in and that's I guess the last thing I'm going to say about journaling it's just uh it helps you get it out, even if you're not talking to the person or to the people or to a uh, therapist about what it is you're going through, at least you're putting it out of your body. And I think that's